Hi, so this is the start of a new pack and it's Transformations of Graphs. Something to look forward to. Let's have a look at the first page. So the first page we've got some graphs to match up. So we've got an x squared graph, so that's quite straightforward. Oof, we've got an x cubed graph here. Uh, we've got a y equals x graph there. We've got 1 over x, which is this one here. Uh, I quite like the square root of x because it looks like x squared fallen over. So I used to describe that as it was being drunk and fell over. And 1 over x squared I quite like because it looks like a volcano there. So I don't tell my wife because she's a geography teacher. Uh, she gets too excited about the whole volcano thing going off. Right, so let's have a look at this then. So we're doing transformations of graphs. Hopefully you've seen them at GCSE, but if the number's on its end, on the end, it's an up or down thing. If the number is inside, it's a left and right thing. The up and down makes sense. The left and right, you kind of think backwards on. So if I do, let's have a look at this. If I look at this graph here, so I've got a graph which is x squared plus 2x. If I do completing the square on it, it would be x plus 1 squared minus 1. So that's actually just subbing in them coordinates, isn't it? So it's just a little reminder about completing the square there and how it is just, just gives us the coordinates of the vertex. So that's nice. Right then. Let's have a look at the example. So I've got to remember that. So I've got to remember the vertex and I've got to remember the crossing point. So this plus 2 means that it's going up 2. But I can't say that. I have to use the words translation. Zero, two. I want to be kind of nice with my wording. So if you can read what I wrote there, it says translation, zero, two. So I've moved the graph up by two. So instead of the vertex being minus one, minus one, the vertex is now minus one plus one. Instead of it crossing the y-axis at zero, it now crosses at two. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick the plus 2 on the end of my equation. So this is like a little bit extra, I guess. So I'm going to put a plus 2 on here. So that tells me that the graph is, which that matches then, doesn't it? It matches on the, um, on the vertex to use in completing the square. So there's one for you to do. It's going 3 down. The delete works. So that's a translation minus 3. So the whole thing goes down by 3. So I've got my graph there. In terms of the equation, it was x plus 1 squared minus 1. And then I'm taking away 3 because it's going down an extra 3. And I've got that. So that's your question for you. Right, so example two, so I'll do example two, then I'll probably stop it and do another video so we can keep it short and sweet. So f of x minus one. So this time, the minus one is inside the bracket, and you think it's going to the left, but it isn't. It's going to the right by one. So my original graph had a vertex at minus one, minus one. So if I move it to the right, it's now got a vertex at minus one, zero. That's uh, sorry, zero minus one. There. What I do with this is I replace the x with an x minus one. So the equation was, so instead of x, I'm going to write x minus one. So where was it? So it's x plus one there, so I'm going to do x minus one. So I've replaced the x with x minus 1, then I have a plus 1 squared minus 1. And that gives me, gives me that, which works, doesn't it? x squared minus 1, that's perfect. What I haven't done is write down what it is, and that's a translation. So 1 to the right will be minus 1, 0. So the number in the brackets, they match on the f of x bit on the translation. There. And everything, but it means it's going the wrong way. So that plus three in there is saying three 
left. See what that says? There, translation minus three zero. So if it went three left, it took it over there. So the equation was y equals, so instead of x, I've got x plus three, and then it had the minus one squared minus one. I got, it's a plus, that's why you donkey. Hang on. It's a Wednesday afternoon. I've already re recorded this about four times. Maybe I should give up while I'm behind. So I'll stop that one there on the example two. I've got a feeling we've got quite a lot of pages of examples to have a go at. Yeah, there is. Right. Bye bye.